and it then just release instance level MCP access. And this changes everything for building frontends. I'm going to show you how to turn any N810 workflow into a production ready frontend using Lovable. The AI reads your workflow directly and builds the interface for you. No copying JSON, no manual configuration. Let me show you how this works. This means that any AI tool like Lovable, Claude, Cursor or ChatGPT can discover your workflows, understand how they work, read the web URLs and know exactly how to send data and receive data back. This is a fully done for you service. You tell the AI agent to build the front end and it handles everything. And Lovable just added native N810 NCP integration. These two updates together make building frontends for your automation significantly faster. But here's what surprised me. It isn't just about speed. The AI understands your workflow architecture well enough that you don't need to explain the payload structure, the parameters, or the response format. It just reads the workflow and engineers the front end correctly. Let me show you exactly how to set this up. First, you go to settings and you need to be on the last version. So if you are not, update to be on this version and you will see this icon MCP access. Then you have two possibilities, OAuth or access token. For Lovable, as Lovable has released this MCP connection with NA10, you can just copy this. If, for example, you want to use it in code, so then you go to access token. Here you will update this token and it will appear again and you copy it and you have here the MCP JSON that you need to copy and to have your token here. And then you can use it in Cursor, in Cloud, whatever you want in any AI tool. Okay, so for Lovable, we just need that. Then we need to enable our workflow. So we go back to our workflows. And so I've created this chat. And here in the settings, you can see that I have toggles available in MCP. And now in my workflow, I need to add a description, which is important because it will explain the MCP, how this workflow works. Okay, so here I have my description. It's a simple AI agent. And this MCP integration only works with a trigger webhook a form, chat, or a schedule. Other triggers will not work. Okay, so an AI agent with web search capability using the SERP API to interact with this workflow, send a message key with the user's query. The agent will search the web if needed and return an output key with the AI's response based on current information. And now in the settings, we can see the workflows where we have access and we can see our description here. So we are all set. Now we can go to Lovable to connect it and create our front end. Okay, so now we are in Lovable and we simply go to settings and then to integrations. And as you can see, we can also integrate Stripe, Shopify, Superbase, Lovable Cloud. But here we just click in NA10 setup and we click on connect. And here we need to have our server URLs that we get from our settings here. And we paste it here and we click on add server. Then open here and we click on a no success. Okay. And now we are connected and we have access to the tool search workflow, execute workflow and get workflow details. And now if we go to NA10 and we reload, we can see that now Lovable is connected as an OAuth client and we good to go and to build our front end. Now this is how I build it. I build it in one prompt. I'm not going to redo it. I'm going just to work you to how it works. So I just had this prompt in Lovable. Use my NA10 MCP access to build a chat UI from my NA10 AI agent chat workflow, which is the name of my workflow. Send post with message, which is the user input, display output response, Dart 10, minimal design, direct webhook calls only. And I just think, and then he asked me to search a workflow and then you will ask if you want to allow each ask each time or if you want to allow always so i recommend to put allows always then so from there you will find 
the right workflow from the names that we have given. And then he will get the workflow details. So in this way, he will need which is our a webhook URL, which is the input, which is the output. You will read everything without us to having to give this information and go back and forth. And from there, okay, you see he has found the webhook URL and he built it and it's done. No error and it works. And now let's test it. So I asked him, find me free high performing YouTube videos about N8 and automation and summarize what makes them successful. So I enter, he's searching, and boom, yeah, I found it. I found an analyzed free high performing YouTube video, blah, 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 etc. This took minutes to build and just using the free credits from Lovable. The AI reads the workflow, understood the architecture and engineer a production ready front end. And you can apply this to any AI application, then the sky is the limit. Your imagination is the limit of what we can create with this. So the N810 MCP access is available starting on version 1.12, included on all plans, included the free self-hosted community edition. If you want to build production ready system like this with me, I host weekly live build sessions in the early AI doctors community with my friend Mark Kashev. This is where we build together in real time. And right now for Black Friday, we have a significant discount on membership. You get access to comprehensive courses from prompt engineering, cloud code mastery, machine learning, AI consulting, and also production-ready templates that you can sell. Direct expert support for multiple coaches, including myself, and this is huge. A unique access to an AI expert network where you can be connected with clients. This is where I dedicate most of my teaching time. It's an investment in quality. Link in the description and see you inside. And if this video helped you out and that you want to help me, please subscribe, comment, like. This will please the YouTube algorithm and help me to produce more for you. Now go build something that lasts and see you in the next one. Bye.